right, folks, here we go, and what a miraculous run it has been for this 135-pound woman. She fought for the belt back in the day, didn't get the title, everybody left her for dead. Look at her now. She never believed that she was done. She knew that she would get back, even if everyone around her told her it would be very difficult. She put her head down, she went to work, and she's back now. And she feels like because of that journey, the ups and the downs, the, the, the torment that she had to go through, being de depressed, not being the champion, all that has built her to be the person that can take the belt tonight. A lot of valuable lessons learned. She's never looked better on the scale. Perhaps that will be an indicator of things to come tonight. Carolina Kovalkiewicz ready to make another major statement here tonight. of the top 10 in the UFC Women's Bantamweight division has never been deeper nor more talented than it is right now. And of course, they're all chasing the champion who gets back on the proven ground here in the big spot tonight. You know, and she knows that she holds the belt in the division that's been around the longest. She replaces champions like Ronda Rousey and Amanda Nunes and Holly Holm and Misha Tate. All these great champions that came before her, she carries that as if, as if it's a medal of honor to represent the history of this division in the best way. This woman is a savage, and she intends to keep that belt for a long time. And in terms of muscle mass, body fat, I'm just not sure that she has ever been in the type of physical shape she is in in advance of this title defense tonight. Our tale of the tape for this women's Bantamweight Championship fight. Now for the official introductions. The veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Carolina Govalkanich. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC Women's Bantamweight Champion of the World. Macy, the future Barber! Herbert Dean's in the building. He's the third man in the octagon tonight. Well, few better fight atmospheres than this one here at the Scotiabank Arena here in Toronto. Fans are lathered early. We're going to have some throaty Canadians by the time this night's over. They're in the building early. They stay late. Canadians are there for a fight, and they show up in droves. Kovalkiewicz gets touched by that kick there. Superman punch. Oh, nice right hand by the champ. Yeah. Digs her shit into the ribs. Great body kick. Clean with the right hook. Rock him, suck him out of the shoot here. There you go. Trying to stay heavy here as best she can. Oh, right into Mount. Oh. Yes, smart adjustment. Yep.
All right, side control for her now. And you know how heavy she stays with all of that upper body strength. We'll see what she can do from here. Well, she's got great upper body strength, and that's why she passes, because she doesn't necessarily feel she needs the legs to control. That's a huge strike right there, DC. Great shot landed. Now she's got to go chase her down and get another one off to finish the fight. Oh, big left. There, she finds her way out of the clutch position. Oh, nice jab there by Kovalkiewicz. Oh, she's hurting bad. Big right hand. Oh, nice body shot. Oh, nice straight punch there by Carolina Kovalkiewicz. Big shot lands to both guys. Kovalkiewicz's eye is starting to swell shut. 15 seconds to go. Oh, doing work with the jab. Defense held up there. She blocks that shot. Round two straight ahead. Let's take a look back at some of the replays. You knew she came in with the book on her as a kicker, and her opponent did nothing to adjust. Her opponent didn't check one kick. So why would she not continue down that path? Why would she not continue to throw her hands just to set up those beautiful, nasty kicks? And she is landing them with full force every time she throws them. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, second round underway. So as this next round gets underway, hopefully the good action we saw. Huge player there, probably her best strike of the fight. Her best strike, and you don't see this type of power normally in this weight class, but she lands, and she lands very effectively. should be disappointed that she didn't finish the fight. This would look like it was over. If she gets this opportunity again, she needs to go all out. All right, so another nice sequence for her there. You've talked a lot about her fight IQ, but this is pretty simple, right? You batter your opponent upstairs. Stay with it. She did it early. She was able to get to her spots, land the shots that she wanted to land. Her opponent did nothing to change it, and now she finds herself in a comfortable position where she has to just keep targeting the face that is so swollen right now. Man, the body work really starting to take its toll here. Obvious redness on that right side. Kovalkiewicz gets the single leg takedown. Into full guard here, DC. Where does she go from here? She needs to be passing right away, passing, trying to pass to get good ground and pound on. Beautiful hard hook. In. What a strike by her there. I'd be knocked out. Her opponent still stands. She's still standing, but she's got to get on her bike, John. She's got to get out to the center of the octagon, find some space so that she can evade her opponent for finishing. And that's, that's the danger in the engagement there. Big head kick. Oh, nice combination. Well, she oh, she's not going to be able to get her out of there now. That one was thrown to end the fight. Yep. <laughs> well, hard to see exactly where she is cut, but it's somewhere around that eye area. It doesn't look great. It's never good to get cut, but right now it's a small one. You don't have to worry about it, but you got to protect it. Oh, hook shot blocked there by Kovalkiewicz. 
Well, I'm not sure her hands, her striking has ever looked better. She continues to land with volume, with pace, with power. Yeah, with pace and pressure. It's, it's an overwhelming feeling being in there with her when she's fighting at this level. When everything's working, she is as good as anyone in the UFC. Tonight, like she that. is at her peak like level. That. Oh, she is wearing it, bleeding from her cheek now. Is that a huge strike right there, DC? Two rounds in the books. All right, there's the horn indicating the end of the round. So potentially a big factor here, ladies and gentlemen. The cut on the cheek sustained in that round. Certainly better to be below than above the eye, but the cut man's got to get in there and close that thing up. All right, so a lot of strike absorption by her in that previous round. She got stunned on the feet, but survives to see another round. Talk us through the replay, man. You look at the action here. They're going back and forth, and boom! There goes that big strike that lands that really does hurt her opponent. She could not find the follow-up shot, but eventually she will find that moment. You ready? You ready? Let's do it. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. Oh! Oh, she's hurt. Oh! Oh, big left hook there. Misses with the right hand. Oh, Kovalkiewicz's eye looks so swollen now. You've got to at least speculate as to whether or not that is a fractured orbital. Push kick there to the body. Now we get some space as she separates from her opponent. She's hurt her here. Oh, that's big. Back and forth we go. There's that kick. Just over three minutes to go. Always be closing. Busy in the clinch here. The punch is good. Well, I think if I was a fighter, I'd probably be a headhunter, but she is not that, right? She's invested in the body, and she's done some pretty significant damage to her opponent. Absolutely. You know, you start to go... Oh, beautiful placement on that hook. What a great job of finding such a massive shot. And there you go, again, half guard. All right, so a storyline developing. You see a cut has been opened around her eye. She's got a cut on her eye. She's been getting hit in that same spot. The cut's nothing too big right now. But if she doesn't protect it, it'll get a lot worse. She goes right back to the well. Sees the swelling and attacks it. Great job. So she backs up here and lets her opponent stand up. Looked like that body kick got home. You can catch a body kick, but you gotta step off to the side. You just can't take it clean. Oh, Kovalkiewicz's uppercut is blocked. Oh, bleeding out. Oh, probably her best strike of the fight. Her best strike, and you don't see this type of power normally in this weight class, but she lands, and she lands very effectively. Busy in the clinch, lands that punch. The right hand just misses. Nice job by her there to block that shot. Oh! Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. All right, so there's the horn indicating the end of the round. We will keep an eye on this cut. You see the cut man racing in there. Cut, it looks like it's on the bridge of the nose. He'll try to shut that thing and prevent it from being a factor for her here moving forward. Looks like he'll close it up now. All right, so we will see another round here. Sat her opponent down there in that previous round with a punch. Surprisingly, surprisingly, we are going forward because I thought it was over. I saw that punch land. We started to yell. We started to scream. We thought the fight was done, but we moved forward because her opponent is so tough, but she's so skilled that she can't get there again. You ready to fight? Ready. 
We have arrived at the fourth round fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. I think we are the only two men sitting in this arena as we have arrived at round four and we enter the championship rounds. A huge, huge five minutes coming up for these two young men. J.A., I couldn't have imagined that this fight would be this good. What a strike by still stands. She's still standing. She's got to get on the right now. She's got to get out from the center of the octagon. Find some space. She won't go as forward anymore. When you got a big power striker like that. Oh! It's over! It's over! Whoa! Carolina Kovalkiewicz! Oh, my goodness. The official decision is in. Here is the veteran voice, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at one minute, 15 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout and new undisputed UFC bantamweight champion of the world, Carolina Kovalkiewicz. So Carolina Kovalkiewicz proving yet again that she is most definitely a force to be reckoned with.